Hi, welcome back. I'm Ed Lucas, and this is my brother Fred. How you doing? Yeah, uh, so as you know, this is blog number four, right Fred? Four? four. Yep, four of us. And uh, <clears throat> it's one of the grosser stories. Actually, that probably the first one was the grossest, but uh, this one for me, it, w it was pretty gross. But um, yeah, got a lot to say, and uh, glad you're here again, Fred. It's always good to see you, buddy. Uh, so yeah, we'll... Uh, Get right to it and tell the story. All right, thanks. See you in a minute. All right now, so uh, yeah, Fred, uh, you all right? A little tired. Yeah? Rough night. Sorry. Okay. All right. Well, it's all right. You don't have to do much, so you can just chill. Thanks, Pat. But, uh, cool. So, uh, this date, actually, it was two dates. Same situation, but two dates. So, okay. we're going to combine two to one today. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I met a young lady in Starbucks. Met her online, of course. And Surprise. Uh, she came in, and she was attractive enough. And uh, we sat down. And from across the table, had to be, I don't know, three, four feet. Yeah, she just opened her mouth and said hello. And I think my eyelashes burnt off. Yeah, it just sizzled. Your you know, eyebrows. Like, like burning hair. Her breath was horrendous. I have never smelled <laughs> breath like that before in my life. And then, of course, I have a little OCD, maybe a lot of OCD. And I focused in on her teeth. It was like she never had them cleaned. It was horrendous, and uh, yeah, That's so gross, that was right? obviously the cause of the uh, odiferous odor. So, um, yeah, you know, we started talking, and uh, you know, I asked her about dating because now I got to know, you know, did she meet another guy? Uh, what do they think? She she tells me, yeah, you know, I've had these hard times. Um, the guys never call me. I don't understand it. I've got a job. I've got a place. She goes, I think I'm semi-attractive. I said, yeah, no, it's, it's very confusing, right? It's not my job to tell her that her breath smells like a cat shit in the mouth. So, uh, the trick is when you go on these dates, right? If you walk in and uh, you don't think it's going to go well, right? You order a small. This way you can chug it. But uh, I didn't know that going in so I ordered my usual medium so now I'm stuck right so I drank that tea faster than I ever drank any cup of tea in my life and I, I don't think she took two sips I was done and it must have been 15 minutes into it and I was like wow that was quick well I'm so glad you came threw my napkin into my cup I said hey let me walk you to your car then she said that uh, she lived down the street she walked here I said well why don't you walk me out and we'll say goodbye and uh yeah i hugged her i said hey talk to you and i left look at this fred fred well you know for the money right that's what i get so uh yeah that was it was horrendous it was such bad breath i've never experienced anything uh like that before but then there was a second date uh not with the same girl different girl and uh, this one, good looking girl too. It's, it's bizarre. How could you be this good looking and not take care of your mouth, you know? And it's got health issues anyway. Uh, this girl, same kind of deal. We sat down, we started talking and my eyebrows, my eyelashes started to singe. Uh, her breath was, was bad, really bad. And uh, chugged my tea again, right? Uh, I'm predictable, if nothing else. And then I walked her to her car, and I went to give my usual hug goodbye. This chick, like, grabbed me and lip-locked me. Now, she's got this yak breath. I don't know what kind of bacteria is in that mouth of hers. Um, she not only lip-locked me, but she's trying to shove her tongue in my mouth. It's like, and I'm fighting it, and she's pushing, and she's not taking a hint that I don't, I don't want to swap spit with her. And uh, she's got me, and I, I, I mean, I could have pushed her away, but I don't want to be a total ass. But uh, yeah, man, uh, I wouldn't let her in. And that tongue, I tell you, I, I give her credit for fighting because that tongue was trying to drive its way right to that mouth. But I wouldn't let her in. 
So, uh, unbelievable. Um, yeah, so, uh, anyway, that's my two stories. And uh, anybody out there who's married and your spouse is an idiot and you say, you know, it would be so much better if uh, we got divorced and I went and I found someone because you saw someone hot in the grocery store you think you could land it. Trust me, it's not easy to meet someone normal. It's a, a 100 to 1 or 50 to 1 ratio to one. at best uh, to nut jobs or nightmare dates uh, to that one person that you would actually, you know, consider a relationship with or hooking up with. So um, I'm distracted by Brooklyn. She's down here somewhere, I hear. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, two stories into one. Blog four. Thanks for your help, Fred. Thanks for coming in, pal. You Appreciate got it, it, pal. And uh, till next time. Be good, be safe, have fun. And listen, okay. please subscribe, all right? I, I gotta get my numbers up. I, I think I have four subscribers at this point. So uh, I wanna meet maybe 5,000 by the end of the year. We're halfway through, so everyone counts. Tell your friends, send this out. Take care, bye. Yeah. Fred says goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Sleeping. F I'm awake now. All right. Get another drink. We'll come on, this with two drinks. It's a two-drink video. We're good. That a girl. All right. We're good. Anybody want to be an intern? Really, the pay sucks. But, uh, I really don't see any advantages for you, but for me, look. I'm out. It was fun. Ready out.